using Prusa Slicer with Octoprint. It's simple. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. Hey everybody, like I said, welcome to The Edge of Tech where we aim to educate and entertain the maker community. Recently, we did a video on how to install, configure, and set up Prusa Slicer, especially with non-Prusa printers. Now a lot of people like that video and you can see that video right here. One of the questions that people had in the video is, how easy is it to set up Prusa Slicer with Octoprint? So we're gonna do that today. It's gonna be a very quick video. When we're done, you'll be able to send your prints straight from Prusa Slicer into Octoprint and even have them print automatically if you want. It's real easy. We're gonna knock it out right now. Let's go. Okay, so what you wanna do is open your Prusa Slicer, go over here to Printer and make sure that you have the printer chosen that you want to connect to your Octoprint. Each one of these can be connected to its own Octoprint instance. So make sure you, you have the one you want to choose. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use the Ender 5 Plus. Then I'm going to go up here to Printer Settings. And you'll notice in the General tab, right here, Printer Host Upload. Um, in my case, uh, we're going to use Octoprint because that's what we're here today for. So what we need is a couple things. We need the IP of our Octoprint um, server or, or Octopi. And we need an API key or password. If I open my Octoprint instance, you can see at the very top here, this is my IP address. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this. We can copy the whole thing if you want. We're gonna go back to Prusa Slicer and we're gonna paste. But you only want to make sure that the IP address is in here. So you take out everything else except for the IP address. You have that ready. If you click out of that box, you'll see this test box come up. If you click test, it'll say the connection is working great. Now what we need is an API key um, from Octoprint. So if we go back to your Octoprint instance here, you go up to the gear, click the gear, come down here to API, and this is your API key. This little button right here will copy it to the clipboard. Then what you want to do is go back to your Prusa slicer, and just paste that in. You'll notice that when you click out of that box, these two right here are in orange. That means it needs to be saved because it's a setting you changed. So go up like we did in the previous video, click this little save button, click OK. Now your Ender 5 Plus is set up uh, to send things straight to Octoprint. So we're just gonna hit slice here and get the print done. Now what I like to do myself is save the G code um, and export it to a specific place for later in case I want to reprint this and or I need to use it later, but that's just me. Um, in our case, we're going to send this right to the Octoprint. If you look here, there's nothing in my files uh, ready to print at all. So once you have it sliced, what you need to do is come down and look for this little button right here. Uh, this is going to send it to printer. If you hover over, you'll see it right there. If you have a jump drive in, you can also use this button to send it to a jump drive, um, but we're going to hit that button. It'll ask you if you want to change the um, name of the print at all. In this case, I'm, I'm not gonna. And it'll ask you if you want to start the printing right after upload. So you can just send it and make it print right away if you want. And we're not going to do that this time. We'll just leave that box unchecked. We'll hit OK. And that sends it to the printer. I'm going to go back to my Octoprint. And you'll notice right here, this is where it came in, the battery holder V7. Uh, has a little star. It was uploaded a few seconds ago. Now we're ready. When we're ready to print it, you would click on it and hit print, and then you would be able to rock and roll from there. It is that easy to send things from Prusa Slicer straight to Octoprint. You can do that in a lot of different slicers, but I know I had some questions about Prusa Slicer in specific from that last video. So there you have it. You just saw how easy it was to configure Octoprint inside a Prusa Slicer, and then have Prusa Slicer send the print straight to Octoprint. I'm telling you, this video is longer than it actually takes in real life. I hope you guys got some value out of the video today. I just wanted to respond to some of the comments and emails and chats I've been getting on that video, and this was a quick one I could do for you. Something to remember, when you're setting these up, that Octoprint setting is per printer. So if you have multiple printers, you'll have to set that up 
per printer you have. So if I have this Ender 5 Plus here, you saw how we set that up. The Ender 5 Pro in the cabinet below me has its own OctoPi instance, so we have to set that one up as well. And you can't cross them, so I wouldn't be able to send a print from my Ender 5 Plus to my Ender 5 Pro using this method. But it's real easy once you get it set up for all your printers and all your different instances of OctoPrint, and it doesn't take that much time. Well, I hope you learned something today, and as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, I hope you guys got some value from today's video. If you did, give me that thumbs up with a like. If you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. And if you want to be notified every Monday night when we go live with hot makes, or anytime I put out a new video, please click the bell right over here. Hey, have you seen this video?